how do you make a vaccine recommendation? Um, don't talk about the CDC and you know the you know the, the great work they do and show a bunch of graphs. Um, I try to make it personal is is my first argument. Uh, and so it's you know I got the vaccine, my wife and my kids got the vaccine, my parents got the vaccine, and not only that, we've all been boosted. We've had multiple vaccinations. Um, I think that that because uh, patients want to know well what would you do, doc. And sometimes I'll say, I'll recommend it for you. I'll recommend it for your mother. I'll recommend it for my mother. In fact, she's already had it. Um, reminding folks that it's an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I wouldn't use that language because people don't understand analogies uh, so well, it seems, uh, anymore. But uh, but I would say that the simple uh, act of getting the vaccine and the minimal side effects you might experience um, are certainly better than going into the ICU uh, for 10 days and possibly emerging with chronic kidney damage that you know will put you on dialysis. But at the same time, it's not all doom and gloom. I try to be hopeful and, and just express how wonderful these vaccines are. They really do uh, save lives and use that simple language. And then don't give up. Uh, resilience is important. Um, you may fail. And, and if it's a new patient, sometimes I don't establish that great connection on the first time. And they're really there because of the ankle pain they have. And so I'm going to, if you don't focus on that, you won't get by on it on anything else. So it may take like two or three visits or sometimes two or three years. But if you just keep offering it and recommending, gosh, it really would be a good idea. I think it would really benefit you. And then eventually it's like, sure, yeah, I'll do it. Because they're, for most folks, they don't have a strong individual reason. They can't point to reasons one, two, and three why they don't want the vaccine. It's just they have just a general feeling against it. And that can erode over time. And you could be the one who helps erode that, gets the vaccine on board, and you're going to have a, a healthier patient.